As the coronavirus crisis slowly recedes in China, the rest of the world remains firmly in the grip of the disease. There are major battlefields scattered right across the globe and likely many have yet to emerge. But China says it stands ready to fight the tide. Multiple medical teams from the country have been dispatched to these hotspots to tender their expertise as well as experiences. I feel that the Chinese team visiting here was very important for us and definitely they have a vast experience and we are gaining from that experience. In basing on your recommendation and the, your experiences, they will definitely modify certain things and that would be helpful. The United States has emerged as the epic center of the outbreak now, with more than twice as many confirmed cases as any other country. American health professionals are scrambling to find ways to slow down the spread. Some have been consulting with Chinese doctors who treated critical patients in Wuhan where the virus was first detected. Uh, when you incubate, I know uh, you said N95 eye goggle. Yes. For every patient. Almost for every patient, yeah. yes. And the help isn't just coming from China. A military aircraft loaded with medical equipment, masks took off from Russian capital Moscow on Wednesday. It was bound for what many are calling America's ground zero. I think it's a very good gesture of solidarity with New York, which are now in a very difficult position, and I think they appreciate it. Meanwhile, Russia has also sent supplies to Serbia. Its prime minister said the shipment was a very timely one. This is not necessary. Ona dolazi u najtežem danu za Srbiju u borbi protiv COVID-19. The scale of the global crisis has even fostered rare moments of unity between otherwise fierce rivals. Israeli and Palestinian leaders coordinated policy to seal off the West Bank city of Bethlehem, a major tourism hotspot. The UN praised their efforts to put containment first, but warned that similar sacrifices and more global acts of cross-border cooperation were critical in beating the disease.